In this Godot tutorial for beginners, I will show you how I added a UI for the score in the scene. This is part of the Introduction to Godot 3D series and was requested by SS Meyer. I haven't been successful in coding the coins remaining HUD yet, so when I can solve the problem, I'll make an additional tutorial. First, I will set up the HUD that lets me know how many coins I've collected. I have already downloaded a Google font that I will be using for the HUD. The link to the one I'm using is in the description. Back on the level scene, I add a canvas layer that I renamed to HUD Score. This will allow the score to remain on top of everything else in the scene and will remain within the visible section of the camera. With the HUD node selected, I add a label and name it Score. In the Properties panel, I add some text that will be displayed in the game. I drag and drop my font file into the file system. Under the Custom Fonts section, I add a dynamic font. Inside the dynamic font, I twirl open the font section and drag and drop the font file onto the font. Under the settings section, I increase the size of the font. I play the game to make sure I can see the HUD. In the scene, I move the HUD so it is not touching the edges of the camera. I add a second label, rename it counter, and change the text to read A. This will just be a placeholder. Under the custom font section, I add a dynamic font. Inside the dynamic font, I twirl open the font section and drag and drop the font file onto the font. Under the settings section, I increase the size of the font. In the scene, I move the label so it is beside the HUD. I play the game to make sure I can see the HUD. I add a script to the counter. I need to set a variable for the coins and set it to zero since I won't have any collected coins at the beginning of the level. Under the function, I need to replace pass, which is just a placeholder. Now when I play the game, I can see the score is now zero. Now I need to open the coin script and add a signal that will connect to the counter. I will add this code just before the coin disappears. I first make a signal, which is similar to a variable in this case. And then I add the emit for the signal. Now I need to connect the signal to the coin on the level. I open my level and select the first coin. On the node panel, I double click on the coin collected signal. Select counter and choose connect. For this function, I need to tell it how to change the score.
Now when I play the game and touch the first coin, the score counter will show 5. Now I just need to delete the other coins. and then make duplications of the original coin. When I play the game, the score will now show 5 for each coin collected. If you have a request for a tutorial, a question, or a comment, feel free to leave a comment below the video. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.